Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to graph an exponential function using transformations. Um, so with this, the first thing that we want to look at is what are the transformations that are happening? So we have a couple of transformations on this one. The first one that we have is we have a plus one. So anytime you have anything on the outside of where your variable is contained, this is going to shift it up or down. So for this one, because it's a plus one on the outside, that tells us that from our parent function, that this graph is going to be shifted up one. The other transformation that we have is we have a negative in the exponent. So whenever we have a negative in the exponent, remember that this is a reciprocal function. This means that instead of, like if I put in a one here, this would be three to the negative one power, which would make this one third. So what this does is this reflects it over the y axis. If the negative is in the front of the three, then it will reflect it over the x axis. Um, but because of the fact that the negative is in the exponent, it will reflect over the y-axis. So for this one, um, what you can all, like for this one, what you can do, sorry, is um, you can find the parent function. So the parent for this one would be f of x equals three to the x power. And then you could figure out what your original points are. Um, if you remember, the parent function always goes through um, one, comma the base it always goes through negative one the reciprocal of the base so one over the base and it always goes through zero comma one so if we put our dots for our parent function then we can do our transformations um, with this so what we are going to do is our original parent function would go through one comma three because this right here is the base and the reason that i wrote base is because different textbooks use different letters here so i don't want to confuse you by using the opposite letter of what your textbook uses so um, i'm just going to call this the base so it would go through one comma three so i'd go over one one two three it goes through zero one and then it would go through negative one, one third. So this would be the parent function here, would go through these points. So if you wanna draw the graph of the parent function to help you with the transformations, you always can. Um, you don't have to do this. This is just to give you a starting point. Um, you can always use a table of values or technology to help you. So for this one, I'm just gonna label this as my parent so we know what it did. Okay, now to graph this equation, we want we know that each of these points, this point here is going to reflect over the y axis, and then it's going to be shifted up one. For this point here, it's going to be reflected over the y axis and shifted up one. And this point would be reflected over the y axis and shifted up one. So it would be at one and one third. What's happened now is our asymptote shifts. Originally, our asymptote is always at, um, at the x-axis, but for this one, what happens is it's shifted up to y equals one. So the graph of this one would look like this. It is a, it reflected over the x-axis, so it's going downward. Um, another way that we could have rewritten this at is, um, one third to the positive x power, which shows us that this is exponential decay. So it goes down from left to right. If it's positive, it always goes up from left to right. So if you are asked to find the domain and the range, the domain is what your x values, and for these, the domain is always negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range is, um, it gets closer and closer to one, so it would be one to positive infinity. Make sure that you put a parenthesis around this because it does not include it. Um, if you were writing this in set notation, you could just say that the domain for this is the set of all real numbers. Um, 
so x such that it's all real numbers and for the range make sure that you remember that this is our y values so it's all y values such that y is greater than one so just to recap if you're asked to use transformations you want to start with the parent function and then use your transformations that you are given this one we had a um, translation which moved it up and we also had a reflection which reflected it over the y-axis as always thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know if there are additional topics please let me know that as well